and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to put together some packages. And packages can be used in several different ways. They can be used to clump inventory together, such as a jump with tables and chairs, or it could be used to uh, keep art panels with modules. So if you're using the art panels, you could sell it as a unit with both. Uh, so you, as an example, you could have <coughs> a Dora jump is what you could call it, but it might actually be made up of a Dora panel and one module unit. And then uh, I'm going to also show you a tricky way to use uh, packages in order to get the same unit into two different categories, such as a wet or a dry slide. Um, that's the same unit, but being used two different ways with two different prices. And then uh, we'll cover some advanced things in other videos. So let's get started. We're going to start um, nine times out of ten. We're going to be starting out of system setup first, and then inventory. And we have some default um, inventory here. If you want to get rid of these things, you just click on the red X. If you want to bring it back, you click the green zero. And uh, anytime you want to make that change, a, a reality, you need to go all the way down and click Save. Okay, so I'm going to come back in once again, go back into Inventory. Let's start with a basic party package. So we can add a category called Packages or Party Packs. And then we're going to add an item, and we can call this uh, a, uh, oh, how about a Disney package blowout or something like that. So Disney <laughs> uh, party package uh, blowout. Okay, and we can give it a price. Uh, it can be whatever you want. Uh, this is not tied to what you're actually putting into the package. So let's say that we want to charge a little more for that. So we're going to go in to the quantity. Now this is the part where you have to be careful. Leave this blank. Leave the quantity blank because we're not selling a thing. We're going to sell a combination of things. So we're going to go down to this package area. Use the drop down and we're going to find that Disney combo and then make sure to click add item and you'll see it says times one and then we're going to add let's say some chairs and click add item and let's say we want to do six chairs with this package. I would just keep clicking Add Item to up that to a quantity six. Don't keep selecting them individually. Then we're going to add uh, a table. And if you wanted, uh, say, a concession, like a, a hot dog cart, we could add that. And then say Apply. Now, don't forget, it has not been saved until I click the Save button. So Right now, we click Save, and then if we go up into the main site, we have a, a test site that we're messing around with here. So we've got something that's called Party Packages. I haven't put a, a graphic on it yet. But now you'll see this under Party Packages, we have a Disney Party Package Blowout for $500. I didn't upload an image, but it doesn't really matter. To the customer, they're adding all these things by uh, just checking availability and adding it to their cart, where uh, in the background, it's actually pulling one of each item out of inventory. So if you run out of chairs, it will no longer offer that party package, as an example. So now let's talk a little bit about uh, the panel jumps, or some people call them banners. It's the modules that uh, Ninja came out with, and uh, other people have followed suit. So let's uh, make a category called panels. And when you're setting up your inventory the first time through, uh, you should just go ahead and add in the panels all by themselves. So let's say that I've got a door panel, and it's important to add the word panel. And we'll say that I've got one of these and add another item, and we'll say a Disney panel. Unfortunately, you can't get the licensed ones legally anymore. 
because Ninja isn't selling them, but you can still find them floating around every once in a while. Notice I'm not adding any prices, I'm not adding graphics or anything else. Monster truck panel, okay. And uh, so let's say that we add all those in, and I have already put in uh, Bounce House right here, which is a module. Um, so we've already got uh, our our module in there as a plain module. So now what we want to do is start making packages. But before I can make a package, I have to save this because the computer doesn't know that this is actually here yet. So I'm going to hit save and then come back into it through inventory. And now in that same um, area where we have the other jumps, we're going to start making packages because customers don't know the difference. So we're going to say Dora jump. And now's where you give it a price and it's not a quantity, now we start putting together the package. So we're going to say there's one bounce house, add item, and then we're going to come down and we're doing Dora, so we look for the Dora panel and add item and hit apply. Okay, and now if uh, we have an image we can upload that at this point. You can add the details just like a regular jump, but now when they go to bounce houses they're going to be offered the Dora jump and what's really happening is in the background the system is taking one bounce house out of inventory and one Dora panel. So if you have that same panel in um, a combos area for example, so if we come down here and we make a Dora combo, um, this might be a module 4-in-1 combo for example, and there's no difference. It's going to offer both until I run out of Dora panels or I run out of combos. So let's see if I've got... Um, I don't have a, a plain combo in here right now, but we'll pretend that this is a plain one and add the item. Now you got to be careful in the real world if this was a dedicated Disney combo and I put a Dora panel on it, well that's not going to work. So anyway, just make sure that you have all the right things. Each item has to exist somewhere outside of the package. So just because I called this a Dora combo doesn't mean that it's acting properly right now. I need to make this correct. I would need to um, leave that incomplete and add a regular four in one combo for example and it can have a price assuming that you want to rent it by itself as well and it has to have a quantity and I'm gonna hit save and that way when I come back into that um, package for the Dora combo I can add the correct thing. See I was feeling guilty that we had it set up wrong so let's do it right. We're gonna set up the um, four in one combo, add item, and now we have a four in one combo and a Dora panel being added. So now, as long as um, nobody has rented a Dora anything, they both show one in combos and one in our bounce houses. But as soon as somebody rents one of them, the other one will automatically disappear and that's because it's keeping track that we only have one here and it's going to subtract it. Now from a customer's side if you ever want to check on it you just click on your logo or your company name that'll be up here. Now if we want to go in here you'll see that panels is still showing up as a category and that's no good so what we want to do is hide that so we're going to go back in to advanced options product categories and we're going to set party packages to uh, we're going to change the display to no and now you can see it from the back end as an administrator but your customers will not see it so you can see that the party packages I'm sorry we were supposed to make the panels so we're going to make the panels no and then we'll go back and set those party packages back to yes. So 
So now the party packages are showing, but the panels aren't, and um, that way the customers see the part that they're supposed to see, and you can see everything. And I just wanted to add in one more little afterthought here. A lot of our advanced options are slowly moving into this system setup area and into other parts of our main menu. So instead of going into advanced options and product categories, uh, just so you know, you can go into view edit inventory, go into product categories, and set your display options within here. And uh, the only uh, word of warning is that the uh, inventory that you see here is not the best way to be going in to work on your inventory. Uh, the best way to get that set up is to go into system setup and then inventory. Uh, that way you can get access to more more items all at once. So that's it. We'll see you in the next video talking about advanced uses of both party packages and suggested add-ons.